Hey guys, so this will gonna be a quick video about how you can configure HTTPS on the CentOS web engine servers with Apache, so HTTPD. And just before we start, I wanted again to say a big thank you to all of the, first of all, the watchers and the viewers, the guys who are commenting on this video, sharing them and so on, and also of course to uh, to the patch patreons who keep staying with uh, with me supporting and 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 uh, giving some feedback which is precious so if uh, you don't know anything about it then just click uh, description bottom button in the bottom and you will see the url so you can check it out yourself if you're not interested though you can always just leave the comments in the comment section below or just uh, click that like button or dislike if you didn't like something that's also okay but for today like um, usually i say the short videos but they end up like 20 plus minutes i will really try to be short because this really is https configuration in just two commands and i will show them right now on the screen so if you don't want to listen to all of my comments and uh, and sharing some some experience about this then this will be absolutely enough for you you have installed the mod ssl edit the configuration file of the zabbix in this case uh, which will be the example on which i will be showing it um, and you're good to go and you will have an https but if you want to keep with us and and do it step by step then let's start so what i have here is uh, just like usually the centos 7 machine uh, still working on the version 7 have not upgraded to the version 8 um, and uh, we'll be talking about apache which is uh, not the only available web engine so you could do the same stuff uh, i mean configure https on nginx or uh, maybe the windows uh, web engine or something else but uh, i guess the apache is the most common the most popular one which is available out of the box on the red hat uh, operating systems so we'll be talking about it and uh, here in the in the Chrome browser I have uh, three pages uh, one is for the SSL server test so when you do the configuration you configure HTTPS or even maybe if you don't have it you can always check the strength and uh, the benchmark of your web page here uh, sslabs.com ssl test and there are like many many of similar websites where you just enter your url remember that it must be reachable from the outside click submit and you will see the uh, the grade and suggestions that you should improve uh, to raise your score then uh, just for um Let's say it will be more useful at the end of the video. So we will be talking about self-signed certificates because there are basically two options. Either you create a self-signed certificates that are not um, trusted globally. So you will have to confirm that you want to visit that web page on which you configure it or you uh, pay the money for uh, trusted certificates or you use a Let's Encrypt, which provides a free uh, automated and open certificate authority, uh, which gives um, duration, so for 90 days, after which you can easily renew your certificate. So this also works absolutely fine, but we'll be doing this uh, with the easiest way with just the two commands. And this one will be about hardening, which also just uh, reading material for you, or I will paste it in the description. So what we will be doing, configuring HTTPS, uh, but if you want to harden your HTTPS, you'll have to do additional job. So um, let's get started. So just like I told you, we will be showing examples on the Zabbix frontend. So I will actually start it. I will first of all disable the Linux, then systemctl start MariaDB, uh, Zabbix server actually don't need it, and HTTPD. <clears throat> so all of these started and um, we can check um two 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 i think one six eight what's the ip address of this one six eight two two one oh one there we go slash zabbix and i will log in 
So see, this is not secure. This is just an HTTP traffic. So this is working only as HTTP, nothing else. If I will type HTTPS, just nothing work, connected site not found, right? And our task for today is to make it uh, work with HTTPS, which might be, let's say, a requirement by many security audits and uh, just a must, must have thing in your company, even despite the fact that uh, the web page might not be um, exposed to the public uh, network but anyways you want to encrypt communication between your browser and your web engine so remember we're not talking about any communication with the databases or servers just your browser and the web engine so the two commands uh, first of all yum install mod ssl so already um, right after your installation in uh, clean um, CentOS 7 in the official repository there is available mod SSL which is a module for Apache to work with SSL and what it does it also automatically creates a self-signed certificates so that's why we won't need to do any additional work additional commands to actually create those certificates uh, place them in uh, some directories and specify those directories in the apache config which also can be doable but just extra commands right and this will be with the two commands so first command is done and the second command what we need to do is edit the config file which in my case because i am again showing this on the zabbix but remember this works on it's just for the Apache, right? It is not for the system, it is not for the Zabbix, it is for the web engine for Apache in this case. So if I'm doing this on Zabbix, then I need to do it HTTPD, conf D, the place where I have all the virtual host placed, and Zabbix.conf. So let's take a look here. And we just need to add these lines if i remember correctly so just copy paste rewrite engine on rewrite condition and rewrite rule so i will just paste this uh, i think below alias I didn't copy so let's copy this again there we go and paste it so right quit and what i will do now i will just systemctl restart apache Hopefully everything's going to be fine. There we go. And now let's try to refresh my page, uh, Zabbix. And you see your connection is not private. Attackers might be to steal your information, for example, the passwords, because the certificate authority is invalid. And why it is invalid? Because it is a self-signed certificate. So what we need to do to enter our web page is click Advanced well at least in the chrome and proceed to the web page but it is not http anymore you see it is https and you see that it has a certificate despite the fact it is invalid so it is issued to the local host and local domain and it is issued to one year and issued by local host local domain which again is uh, my uh, virtual machine so just by installing a mod ssl i also automatically created https uh, required certificates and when we did uh, this uh, rewrite engine it means that right now let's say if i i have an https but if i want to enter http i will not succeed see anyways i am redirected to https so https is just an extension for your apache and if i would just um, install mod ssl i would be able to access https and use the encrypted traffic and at the same time would also able to use http which is uh, doesn't make any sense right so if we want to encrypt our web engine and use an encrypted traffic we want to allow only https connections and that's why we need to write this uh, rewrite engine rewrite conditions and rewrite rules so that's it and like 
this IP address is the local IP, so I won't be able to show you the results here in the host name. But if you have a public address, you can for sure do that. And then, like this is just enabling HTTPS. It is not, uh, let's say, configured based on all of the best practices. And uh, in simple words, it is not hardened. So if you want to harden your HTTPS and receive a better grade and SSL benchmarks, then you can read this article. And you can do also just a simple Google uh, how to harden your web engine HTTPS uh, by um, specifying some requirements for the certificates as example. And this page, so remember if you just want to use uh, uh, certificates from Let's Encrypt, not the self-signed certificates, but then again, remember, it will not be just uh, two commands to get it up and running. So, uh, thank you for your, your attention, thank you for your time, and uh, just like I said in the beginning, if you like this content, if you want to get more of these, then just um, go in the bottom section, press that like button, click that subscribe button, or post any comments with uh, any kind of questions, uh, feedback, if you would want to see some, um, let's say, videos about something, maybe not only about uh, Zabbix or Linux things, uh, then just write it. I will try to help with all the videos as long as I can do them. Like if you have asked for something that I don't know or something that I don't have, um, then well, sorry, but I guess you'll have to look in some other places. But for now, like, thank you once again and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.